What's good everybody? It's your girl Amanda Speaks and I'm coming to you with a new series called Real Talk. So if you want to know what I'm doing today, stay tuned. We get tired, we get tired, we get tired, we get tired. This topic is and I'm not talking about those crazy clothes guys, even though they are important because they have a story of its own. I'm not talking about those guys. I'm talking about the ones that people can hide see. I'm talking about the ones that you can hide so well that people think you're all right all the time. I'm talking about emotional trauma. I'm talking about rejection. I'm talking about not feeling good enough for people and for yourself. I'm talking about betrayal and I'm talking about breakups, both friendship and relationship. So I think I named this about seven things a while ago. So I think I named this about seven. So let's get into the video. So first of all, emotional trauma can stem from anywhere. It can stem from your childhood, it can stem from teenage years, your adult years, it doesn't matter where. But it's still emotional trauma if it had an effect on you and it takes away your peace, it haunts you, it gives you nightmares, it just affects you overall. And a lot of times people don't see that because we hide it so well. But there's always something that can trigger it. Unfortunately, there's always something that can trigger it. And sometimes it can get so out of hand and you can just lose it that you'll do something drastic. You'll end, you'll end up injuring yourself or other people. So guys, for that one, I just want to say to everybody else that's not experiencing this, don't take what people do and what they say lightly because somebody can always be going through something you don't know. But those going through it, I would recommend you see a therapist or a psychologist or find somebody to talk to because it does help guys. If you just keep it all to yourself and you can't, you're saying to yourself, I can handle this, I can do this, I got this, and you truly don't. You've never experienced something like this, so how are you saying that you can handle it? We can only handle things we've been through before. Get it? So if it's something that cuts you so deep, it could have been a family member, it could have been a stranger, it could have been somebody you hated, somebody you trusted. And it didn't even have to happen to you. It could have been something that you had seen and it just affected you horribly. And you never got any closure, you never got any explanation, you never got a chance to get rid of it. And that's why it's very important you see somebody, you talk to somebody, because you alone can't handle it. Alright? So that's one. Guys, really be careful of your mental state. It really is important. And emotional trauma, as I said, can stem from anywhere. Especially if it was childhood and you're carrying it all the way to adult life. You gotta take care of yourself, sis. You gotta take, take care of yourself, bro. Yeah. So we're gonna have to go through this scraping of other people. Rejection though, as I said, sometimes we're looking in the wrong directions for approval and for validation from the wrong set of people because sometimes they don't even feel confident in themselves and if they realize that you're weak and you're less than and you feel bad about yourself, they'll take advantage of that and they'll just tell you that you look like trash and take advantage of you and make you feel even worse, right? And the truth is guys, those who are supposed to be in your life, as cliche as it sounds, those are supposed to be in your life, even if it's for a time, for a season, or for a lifetime, they will be there. And you just always have to know that with everything that happens in your life, it's for a reason. But a lot of times we question ourselves and we say, why me? Why this have to happen to me? But you have to realize that sometimes it's the strongest that goes to the most. It's harsh, it's unfair sometimes. But the fact that you can survive something like that, you're still standing. You're strong, you can do this, you can do this, right? You can do this. Yeah, so I just feel like everybody goes through rejection at some point in their lives, but it's not to always stay in that place, and you gotta know that you. It was amazing. Like, excuse me. Even if you reject me, don't lose that self value and that self love you have for yourself, right? But, guys. Rejection can really take a toll on us and it can take a toll on those we encounter and those we talk to because sometimes our energy be transferring to other people 
and they have not done us anything. But because of how we feel, we just want everybody to feel that way sometimes. And even if we don't want them, sometimes it's spilled over because it's so much for us. So just be careful. And one thing I'd recommend is just what I think for rejection. You just gotta know that you're good enough. You gotta know that yo, you're flipping amazing and it doesn't matter if anybody else wanna see it. You'll see it. Start treating yourself better, start loving you. Because if you don't love you, other people can't love you successfully. That's the truth. I think I kind of scraped on the third one, which is not being good enough. But yeah, I think that ties into rejection too. Because sometimes we feel as though we're not like this set of people, we're not like that person. And especially if that person's our friend, honey, that can hit hard. Because we're trying to mask and we're trying to pretend as though we're okay. And behind all that, we're comparing ourselves. We're saying that, oh, we're not as pretty as our friend. We're not as funny as our friend. We don't dress like our friend. You know, I'm just using a friend as an example. But we have different persons, different cliques, different groups in our lives that we compare ourselves to sometimes. And it's really not healthy. Honestly, it's not. But we do it sometimes. But the truth is, we are good enough. We're good enough for ourselves, and we're good enough for whoever is going to come into our lives. If they can't value and appreciate you the way you are, buh bye Like the truth is, unless you're gonna change for the better, then sure. But if they're just gonna bring toxicity, toxicity? <laughs> if they're just gonna bring negativity and they're gonna just make you feel less than, those are not people you're supposed to have in your life. If they always have to compare you to somebody or if they have to say, um, something like, oh, your your hair looks nice but doesn't match your clothes. If they can't hype you up when you look dang ass good, are they really supposed to be in your life? Got a question there. But just know that you are good enough. You are good enough for somebody to love you. You are good enough for people to be around you. You're good enough for yourself. And you're good enough to achieve everything anything you want to achieve and that's the truth honey boo you gotta hype yourself up to play some songs like i i watched a video from african beauty but yeah you gotta hype yourself up sometimes you play some songs that make you feel like a badass play some songs that make you feel nice feel hype feel powerful you gotta do this for you because not all the time people gonna be around not all the time people are gonna hype you up sometimes they be going through stuff too and we don't even know or they don't want to talk so you gotta be there for yourself as well but for all those people that are friends with people that's going through this be there for your friend man there's a reason why you're called a friend and we have a friendship because you're supposed to be there for each other but just be there for your friends though to be honest because everybody has a purpose everybody is good enough in this life you only get better if you realize they're going backwards, check a look at yourself, honey. See where you're going, where your steps be going, and go forward. Because it's 2019, and the truth is, we don't have time to be wasting. We don't have time to be questioning ourselves and devaluing ourselves and all of that stuff. We don't got time for it. It's 2019, we're supposed to be empowering ourselves, we're supposed to be growing, getting better, building stuff. <laughs> Building relationships, building even companies, building organizations. We're supposed to be growing, honey. Breakups. <laughs> so, you have friendship breakups and you have relationship breakups, which will kind of tie into the betrayal depending on how the breakup started and how it went about. So, first of all, when it comes to friendships, it hurts. It hurts hella, hella, hella enough. Especially if you trusted that person with so much information. They were your best friend. They were, you were there for them. They seemed to be there for you. Riding, y'all sharing deep dark secrets, crying, everything. And all of a sudden, they betray you. All of a sudden, they spread rumors about you. They drop you for somebody else that they think is better than you. They think that you're less than somebody else. Hurts. That hurts, y'all. And sometimes it can 
take a toll on us. Sometimes we don't eat. Sometimes we question like, how can I not see this? How did I? How didn't I see this? How didn't I realize that she was a fake? He was a fake. They were users. How did I not see this coming? Especially if it's like gang betrayal. So like, you had a group of friends, and all that group of friends just threw you away like it's trash. That in itself can hurt. And the truth is, y'all don't do that. Don't do that. If you have a problem, sort it out. If you realize that you are changing and you don't want the same thing that you used to want before and you realize that these people are not really the people you want to be around forever, let time take its toll. Like, don't just drop them. Because you gotta remember that they were there for you at your lowest too. As I said, people are there for a time, for a season, for a lifetime. So if your time is up, trust me, y'all will grow apart. Or something will happen. And you know, it will, it will, it will just eventually... Yeah, but don't be the root cause that you just drop in the black amount. Not it. Especially to hurt other people like that. You have to look at it that way. Lots of times people are not going to say, oh, that person hurt me, that's why I don't believe in friendships. No, they're going to be like, ain't nobody my friend. I don't have no friends. So that's what they're going to look at. A lot of times we do, the, we make the mistakes of when we're hurt to generalize it, to stereotype it. Because we've been hurt once or twice. I mean, most of the times. But we can't let because people hurt us we lock up other people and we don't give other people the chance to get close to us or we don't give them the chance to show us that there there's good out there you know what i'm saying there are good people they are good friends so guys just know that what do you mean to break up as well for friendships yes you can sit down and cry about it and you can look into what really happened and if it has to be that way but don't stay in it don't stay in that morning don't stay in that morning stage. Get up, dust yourself off at a pit after a while, and get your grind on. They always say, tell them with kindness and stunt on them. Like, just do your best. When they realize that you're, you're making it, they're gonna be like, dang it. Let them feel that way. You're growing, you're becoming better. You're doing better, you're healing yourself. That's the way to go, boo. That's the way to go. So, that's all for my real talk session. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and there's more to come. So, thank you for joining, thank you for watching, and I love y'all. Peace.